I came up river on the gravel barge from New Orleans. She was standing on the cobblestones in a pair of cut-off jeans. Hey everyone, I'm Zach Farnham. We're here, Country All TV, with JT Hodges. How you doing, JT? How you doing, brother? Great. Good great. to see you. Good to see you too. We're here at the Washington County Fair in Rhode Island. We are indeed. You did a show earlier. I did. Good crowd good out good there. Crowd, Those people crowd. were, uh, you know, got out of church and came came <laughs> over here ready to rock. Good. Tell us a little about yourself. There's some people that don't know about JT Hodges yet. See, so I was raised by a pack of wolves. <laughs> Stone Country. Uh, no, I'm kidding. I was born and raised in Fort Worth, Texas. Musical family. Grew up in a studio. Um, uh -huh. Music's always been a part of my life uh, since I can remember when I was crawling underneath the console at you know, a very yeah. young age. Cool. Um, Your mom had a record deal, right? Mom had a record deal. Uh, offer from offer. MCA Nashville that uh, she didn't uh, end up accepting because she didn't want to go on the road. Uh, she would have been gone, and you know, obviously. You know, I was very young, my older, my older brother was very young as well, and she uh, wanted to be a mama. The studio was picking up business, Dad was working with a lot of acts, and just uh, made more sense to her to, to be home with her kids. So it's definitely something commendable, so I'm, I'm proud of her, I love you, Mom. You moved to L.A. after college, right? I uh, got right out of college, I went out west, yeah, man. Um, a bunch of my buddies were going out that, that route, and I had been touring around Texas pretty much all through college at TCU and uh, I just kind of wanted to go somewhere different and went out there, it was a totally different environment. I think it uh, helped uh, kind of my creativity. It, it's cre it's definitely, there's, there's, there's some things that I picked up out there, at least with the music scene and, you know, I guess I, for lack of a better word, the culture of, of the West Coast and how people are, that, uh, that it's, it's in the music now, but uh, that, was, that was a good experience. You know, people say, why don't you just go straight to Nashville? I mean, I, I went back and, that, to Nash, back and forth to Nashville all the time with my dad. Yeah, right. So it was like that would have been the, the move right out of college, moving to Nashville. But for some reason, I went out to L.A. and I don't regret it. There were some, there were some great things that happened out there for me and I learned a lot. Cool. But uh, I'm definitely glad I'm in Nashville now. Yeah. It's definitely home for me. Definitely. What are some big differences between L.A. and Nashville that you've noticed? Uh, well, besides the fact there's a big ocean, uh, <laughs> the beach and all that. Music's number one in Nashville. Nashville's a music city. I mean, in L.A., there's 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 a lot of stuff going on. Um, you know, obviously, I think Hollywood, the movies, is kind of first. And then there's a, there's a music scene there. But I like, whereas everybody's an actor at a bar or a restaurant out there, everybody in, in, in Nashville is a, is, a, is a guitar slinger or a songwriter or a singer. And I just love being around that. Uh -huh. some, some of the best music I've ever written is, is, has been written in Nashville, and I think there's a reason for that. It's a great, great vibe, great community. Uh, yeah, Hunt You Down. Hunt You Down. That was, it, it was interesting. I, when I, when we finished the record, and then all of a sudden I got wind that the promotion staff wanted to release that as the first single, I was like, whoa, all right. I, I didn't look at it as a, as a single, Yeah. but uh, they did. And uh, I'm glad we released that. It kind of set the bar as far as who I am as an artist and, and the foundation that I'm building. Is that I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do kind of what everybody else is doing. I'm gonna do my own thing and, and just stay true to who I am. So it was cool to live with, went along with that. And then we released Goodbyes Made You Mine, which showed a kind of more of a rocking edge to me and uh, showed off uh, my vocal capability a little better. And then um, and then Sleep Little Town. That. Which was is um, still to this day a song that I did not write. I wish I'd written it. Was just too good a song to not cut. Uh -huh. And uh, I love that song. I love playing it every night. It's just so. I think all three singles that were released on this first record definitely are were great introductions to what I do. And I think the new music that I'm working on right now is uh, I'm very excited about. And I think uh, people will, will on an even broader scale will. will kind of realize what I'm all about. Now, Hunt You Down, going back to that, you wrote with Rivers, Rutherford, and Mark Colley, right? I did. Rivers is a crazy, amazing songwriter, man. He's a uh, hell of a guitar player, too, man. The guy can sling. Uh, yeah, a couple times at the Bluebird. No, oh, dude. Crazy. He's, he's passionate, man. He lets it go. And, um, it was an honor writing with him. You bet. 
And you have a good relationship with Mark, right? Mark helped out. Yeah, Mark, Mark, you know, Mark's guy, you know, he's doing his, he's always doing his own thing, his own adventures, you know, uh, but he, he was great to, he was great to work with on this record. And, you know, we're, we're, I'm moving in a little bit different direction, and um, it's not that I'm moving in a different direction, I'm just trying to build upon what I've, what I've kind of, the, like I said, the foundation, I guess that's the, I keep saying that, but that's kind of what it is. It's exactly. like I laid a foundation, and now I'm, I'm, I've got to go a little bit different direction to build upon that, and that's kind of what I'm doing for this next record. Right? Awesome. So, when do you think that'll be released? Uh, probably next year, for sure. Um, right now we're just trying to work through what the uh, first single's going to be, which is exciting because everybody is uh, liking a lot of it. So I think that's a good problem to have when you've got uh, your promotion staff going back and forth on a couple of different singles that they're really sure. thinking. So. And you're on Show Dog Universal, right? Show Dog Toby Universal. Kids record label. But uh, to Toby's great, man. I mean, he's... He and I make music, our approach to, to music and songwriting is very different, but uh, he, he respects what I do and, and how I do it, just like I respect what he does. And he's just great, man. Like, every time I see him, I go up on his bus, we hang out, we have a beer, we just shoot the shit, talk football, you know. It's, he, he's just, he's, for a guy that was on the cover of Forbes magazine and has his own, you know, just empire, he's just so laid back and cool. And, and you I like, see that a lot in country that. music, which is why... Hey man, country music is character. Yeah. I've always said that it's it's you know people's the people's music, and uh, if you don't like people, then you don't need to be in country. What would you say is the best part and the best part of touring? Best part of touring is uh, being being in different different places, not after night, um, meeting new people, and, and really just testing the limits with the music and your set and uh, we always have fun you know the band's sitting here with us right now they're off camera but we, we always enjoy uh, introducing new songs or, or going about something a little different way anytime we have a spontaneous moment up on stage it's, it, all those all of those things are what you kind of live for what, what makes touring enjoyable and, uh, and I definitely think it inspires uh, your writing you know when I come home I definitely feel inspired after being out and playing uh, you know, four or five shows in, you know, in a week and then, then the next week I got a few rights scheduled with some great writers. There's always something great that comes out of it because of that. Cool. Great. Um, so we can buy your album on iTunes? iTunes. It's called uh, J.T. Hodges. J.T. Right? Hodges. Is the, it's the debut record and uh, I'm very proud of it. And uh, new music is coming very, very soon. But where can people see you next? People will, uh, you know, always uh, stay tuned with me on uh, my website, jthodges.com, uh, facebook.com slash jthodgesmusic, hello jthodges on Twitter. I'm always up there, you know, kind of updating everybody. And uh, I'll be out on the road for the next uh, couple of months. And then, um, yeah, uh, expect uh, a lot of new stuff coming soon over the holidays as well. Great. Well, we're looking forward to it. And, uh Thank you for joining us today. Thank you for helping us kick off our uh, artist interview segment. I'm Zach Farnham. I'm JT Hodges. That's country. He deserved what I just done.